Welcome to the world of enhanced Excel reporting with Cubewise Slice, the innovative Excel add-in for IBM Planetics. Slice was built to expand IBM Planetics ecosystem to make it easier for companies to build and deploy IBM Planetics applications through Excel. So let me give you a quick tour. We are now in Excel, so you can see the Slice ribbon at the top. The key component of Slice is the Server Explorer. To open the Server Explorer, click here and it's going to open a pop-up and inside the pop-up you will find all your TM1 instances. In this example, I have only two. Once you log into your TM1 instance, you will be able to access all your TM1 objects. By clicking on cubes, you will be able to see an overview of all your cubes. To go to the cube viewer, you can either click on the cube, it will open the default cube view, or you can expand the cubes to see to access all your views here. So the cube viewer in Slice is full of features. So let me give you a few tips. First of all, right click anywhere and you will have access to the context menu where you will find lots of shortcuts. So let's do it on the rows here. So you can right click on the rows and you will find all the shortcuts here. So instead of opening the subset editor, you can just click here to keep plus children. Or if you want to come back, you can just right click and show all elements if you want of your dimensions. If you do it on the hierarchy, you can right click and swap hierarchies with just a right click like this and you can change it with region and then click recalculate. If you want to change the style, you have the style drop down here. So by default, it comes with a few view style defined. If you want to edit it, you can just go here, go to the view style editor and you can change any colors to match your company's branding. So now that you're happy with your QView, let's export it into Excel. So Slice supports all traditional type of reports, including in perspective, such as snapshots, Slice and active forms. So let's start with the slides. So I can find the export button here at the top. I'm going to click export as a slice. I'm going to select my workbook. I click OK. And now I can see the traditional slice that you could build with perspective with the GBRW function the sub and M. So Slice supports all the active forms that have been built with Perspective. And on top of this, it has added some innovative features. One of them, which is very handy, is you can double click on a sub and M and it's going to open a subset editor and you can select two elements here. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that inside my sub and M, instead of having one department, I have two departments which is the sum of these two. If you want, you can quickly edit and change to minus to see the department manufacturing minus quality insurance. On the top, there are lots of different buttons. One which is very handy is if you're happy with your report, you can just remove the functions like this. So remove tier one function on this worksheet. And you can see that now the GBRW are gone. So you can now share this spreadsheet with your colleagues. In Slice, we have expanded the active forms by adding additional features that the customers always wanted. And the most important one is that you can now use hierarchies inside your active forms. So let me open the cube view here and you can see I have my two dimension listing and the listing analysis measure. But actually at the top, I can see all my hierarchies. So I'm going to use the host on rows and I'm going to use the room type on columns like here. All right, so now I can recalculate. Now I can see on rows the host, the list of hosts for my listing dimension. And on column, I can see the room type from the same dimension. All right, so what I want to do now, I want to create an active form. So to do this, I can find the export button here. I can click on the export button and create as an active form. Now I can select my workbook. I'm going to keep the same workbook. Click OK. And Slice is going to create the active form for me. All right, so now we are inside the active form. So in an active form, you're familiar with the function tier one apt row to make your rows dynamic. And on the cell, instead of dbrw, because now we are using hierarchies, we need to use a new function, which is called dbhw in Slice. And the dbhw in Slice use similar parameters 
as a GBRW, it gets your instance name, your cube name, and then all your hierarchies. And the nice thing about GBHW is that it doesn't have to be in the exact same order as your dimensions. All right, last but not least, I want to show you the MDX form. So the MDX form is a new way to build Excel reports. So your all reports is just managed by one function called MDX form. So to build an MDX form, you can just click here on the export and export as an MDX form. So now I can select my workbook again. And here you will find the MDX form function. So this is the function that is driving your report. So just one function that will create the rows, the columns, and bring the data. So you can click this button here to view the format area and you will find your MDX here. So this is MDX that is driving the data. So Slice is more than just an Excel engine. It's a transformational tool that redefines how you interact with Excel and IBM planning and analytics. So thank you for watching. And to explore the full potential of Slice, go to our website at code.cuboys.com slice slice.